welcome to ABC Interactive English. I am Nina. Oh, say can you see by the dawn? Here's a little tip so you can stop talking. Oh, there you go. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're still talking about the tipping culture in America. Yes. This is part two.、Mm -hmm. You've been to America, right? Yes, but I was quite young, so I wasn't the one doing the tipping. <laughs> but、uh -huh. I've been to Canada. Okay. And I went to visit my sister there because she lives there, and I decided to take her and my brother-in-law for a meal. Okay, a nice and meal. A nice meal. Which means it's expensive. Yeah, so I was、okay. like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna pay for this, and then I put the money out, and she she my sister says, oh, don't forget you have to tip. It's not like Taiwan. I'm like, what? what? Okay, <laughs> but how like how much do I have to tip? Like a few dollars is fine, right? And she's like. No, you should you should tip maybe at least fifteen percent because otherwise they'll be offended. I'm like、What? really? But it's already so expensive. Yeah, well, especially if it's a, the meals really expensive. Fifteen、yes. percent of that is going to be a lot of exactly. money. Exactly. Imagine one hundred U.S. dollars. That's fifteen U.S. dollars that you have to give as a tip. Yeah. That's expensive. It is very expensive. So、yeah. I mean, I guess it. Did you get good service? Do you remember? It was okay. I think all,、okay. you, all you can think about is how much money <laughs> yeah, that you lost. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about tipping culture in America. Yes. When it comes to tips, who should you tip? Also, how much should you tip? As visitors to the U.S., you should tip waiters, taxi drivers, and some hotel workers. The tipping culture in America, and this is part two. So Shane, tell us your ways. All right, let the American tell you how to do it. So, when it comes to tips, who should you tip?、Hmm. That's a good question, right?、Okay. Because you don't just you can't just tip everybody. If you go into an electronics store、mm -hmm. and somebody rings you up at the cash register, you don't tip that person. Yeah, you don't tip the. Ca The cash register person, right? No, so it could be a little bit confusing,、mm. right? You need to kind of think about these things before you go to America. Yes. So we have a phrase here: when it comes to. So when it comes to means it's used to identify the topic that is talk we're talking about right now. Okay.、Right? So. Yeah, so it's kind of like when we're talking about blah blah blah. Yeah. When so, it comes to blah blah blah.、So、you could say when it comes to playing. Basketball, he's the best I know. Is that you? No, definitely、okay. not. <laughs> okay. All right. Also, how much should you tip? Hmm, that's also a very good question. Yeah, you know, because there are some rules, but they're not like a law or something, you know. So, in the different industries, different services, you do different types of tipping. Yeah. So there are a lot of. Unspoken rules that you should find out about.、Right. Okay, as visitors to the U.S., you should tip waiters, taxi drivers, and some hotel workers. Yes,、yeah, so that's、okay. a good. Th those are the people that you're most likely going to be interacting with、mm -hmm. if you are a visitor to a country on vacation, right? Yes. So a visitor. Yes. So visitor is from the word visit, right? Right. Is to see a person. Or place as a guest or tourist. So if you are a visitor, you are someone who is doing visiting. that. Visiting. You、yes. are visiting, so you're a visitor. Exactly. So example: Every summer, this tiny fishing village receives thousands of visitors. Okay. So we have another vocabulary word: taxi, and that's a noun. It's an automobile or car or other vehicle that takes passengers. For a fee,、yeah. and they will charge them according to how far they go. Yes. Right. According to the distance traveled.、Mm -hmm. For example, you could say it's raining really hard. Let's take a taxi instead of walking.、Mm, good idea.、Mm -hmm. All right. So the next word is driver. Driver is a noun. So a driver oh, is. Oh, 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 can I guess? Tell me. A driver is someone who drives. Exactly. So just like a worker is someone who works, a driver is someone who drives. Super easy to remember. Americans are so smart, right? Or English people <laughs> who invented the language. Oh、yes. wow. Okay. <laughs> so let's find out how much you're supposed to tip 
after the break. Yes, yeah, see you later. Waiters and taxi drivers only make $2.13 an hour and tips. They depend on the tips to live. So you should give them 15% of the bill for good service and 20% for great service. At hotels, you should tip porters $1 per bag and housekeepers $2 to $5 per night. You can always tip more, just don't forget to tip. Welcome back, everybody. So we were talking about who we should be tipping, right? So waiters, taxi drivers, Hotel and even... Hotel workers. Exactly. But we don't know how much we're supposed to tip. Yes, so let's, let's find, find out. out. Mm. Waiters and taxi drivers only make $2.13 an hour and tips. Oh, my God. Wait, $2.13 an hour? That's, That's so it? That's so little. That's oh. less than half of the minimum wage in Taiwan. That's really, really low. I didn't know that it was that low in America. Actually, in America, there are a lot of different states. Mm -hmm. And each state actually will set its own law okay. for the minimum wage. Okay, like how so much most likely it's not going to be that low. But right? it's always very low, no mm -hmm. matter what. So they really they depend on tips, right? So yes. they depend on the tips to live. Right. Yeah. They're not going to be able to pay their rent and pay to buy a car because you need a car in America. Yeah. That's why they get so offended if you don't tip well, right? Right. Okay. So depend on. Yeah. They depend on the tips to live. Right. So when you depend on someone or something, is you need that thing or that person to do something. Yeah. It's necessary for you, right? Yes. So if you're going to be able to eat and pay your rent, you depend on. That, tips. that extra money. Exactly. Right? So an example sentence would be, you can always depend on Shane in a crisis. That's right. Can you, know, you though? Unnecessary. If you're in a crisis, you need me there. Are you sure? Sure. Are you going to fight zombies? Well, maybe not zombies. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing. So you should give them 15% of the bill for good service and 20% for great service. I okay. would even say that 15% isn't even just for good service. It's just for service. <laughs> really, because right. it's the minimum. If somebody just brought you your food mm -hmm. and they weren't mean to you, then they get 15%. They still get 15%. Okay. Either they'd have to just kind of do the minimum. Okay. I would say that it's more like 20% for good service and I then see. maybe like 25%. For That's excellent a lot. Service. Okay. But everybody has a different idea about Good what it is. It's, yeah. it's not a law. Right? And what about bad service? Oh, you still. Uh, I would. <laughs> I would still leave fifteen percent. Oh wow. Maybe then and then complain. Okay, I see. <laughs> so we have another vocabulary word here: bill, which is a noun. It's a written list showing the cost of items bought or services provided. Mm -hmm. So if you get a bill at a restaurant, it's going to show you all the food mm. that you ordered. Our example sentence, after dinner, I offered to pay the bill. Oh, how generous I'm of you. <laughs> Continuing, at hotels, you should tip porters $1 per bag and housekeepers $2 to $5 per night. Mm. This okay. one I'm not as familiar with because I didn't stay at a lot of hotels when okay. I lived in America. I would normally stay in hotels when I left America. Okay. Yeah. So maybe when a porter... Okay, what's a porter first? <laughs> okay. Good question, right? Yeah. A, a porter is a person whose job it is to carry baggage at a hotel or it could be a train station or an airport. Mm -hmm. For example, you can say the porter helped us carry our bags to our room. So we gave him one dollar as tip. One dollar per bag. Oh right. So yeah. We maybe. gave him a few mm -hmm. a few dollars. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and a housekeeper is a person whose job is to organize another person's house or clean it, sometimes even cooking. Yeah, or at a hotel, right? That yes. person is going to be clean. doing that. It's not really your house, it's your hotel room. Yeah, that's right? true. Okay. <laughs> um, continuing, you can always tip more. 
just don't forget to tip. Okay. So it's definitely okay to tip more. Yeah. I don't think a waiter <laughs> is going to be like, wait, Well, no. that's too much. <laughs> yeah, and I have friends who will tip like 25% if they get Very really good service. Okay. Right? Yeah. So hopefully you learned one thing, like it says here, just don't forget. Yeah, don't to forget tip to tip. If you go to America because they really will be offended and yeah. maybe they won't even be able to pay your, their rent if you don't give them their tip. A lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah, and Americans can be very unforgiving. Okay, so don't forget to tip. And that's a great place to end. All right. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. -bye. When it comes to tips, who should you tip? Also, how much should you tip? As visitors to the U.S., you should tip waiters, taxi drivers, and some hotel workers. Waiters and taxi drivers only make $2.13 an hour and tips. They depend on the tips to live. So you should give them 15% of the bill for good service and 20% for great service. At hotels, you should tip porters $1 per bag and housekeepers $2 to $5 per night. You can always tip more, just don't forget to tip. Hi, I'm Tina. We're going to look at this one. First, visitor. Visitor, visitor, visitor. Many foreign visitors to Taiwan don't like stinky tofu. Many foreign visitors to Taiwan don't like Foreign, is outside. Stinky tofu, tofu. Next word, taxi. Taxi, taxi. Eric went to work by taxi because his car broke down. Eric 搭计程车去上班，因为他的车子抛锚了。下一个单词 driver driver 名词驾驶司机。Many taxi drivers suffer from backache. 许多计程车司机都有背痛之苦。Suffer 就是受苦受折磨，那 backache 就是背痛。最后一个单词 bill bill 名词账单。Have you paid the phone bill? 你付电话费了吗？接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 ，When it comes to 加名词，说起提到某个东西。我们来看看这个例句。I have little knowledge when it comes to computers. 我对于电脑所知甚少，就是不在行的意思。下一个文法 ，depend on， 仰赖，依赖。Depend 是一个动词，依靠，依赖。我们来看看这个句子 ：The country's economy depends on tourism. 这个国家的经济仰赖观光。Economy 就是经济 ，tourism 就是观光。最后一个文法 ，per 加名词，每一个。Per 是介系词。我们来看看这个例句 ：The dinner cost twenty dollars per person. 这顿晚餐每人花费二十美元。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法，我们下一课再见喽，拜拜。Hello, I'm Matt. And I'm Vivian. Today we're playing Guess the Bear. We each have three cards with words or phrases and example sentences where those words or phrases are replaced with the word bear. We'll each have one minute to see if we can guess all three words or phrases. Okay, you're up first. Ready? I think so. One minute. Let's go. First one is a noun. Taipei 101 gets about one million bears per year. Bears love the museum's new exhibitions. Visitors? Yes. Next one is a noun. Two bears were injured in the car accident. John is always a very safe bear. Um, Two bears were injured in the car accident. Oh, okay. John is always a very safe bear. Driver. Yes. Okay, next one's a two-word phrase. The city's economy bears bear tourism. She bears bear her son to help with expenses. Relies on? Similar, but different. Um, depend on? Yes. <laughs> that was the, almost the same, but yes. <laughs> So you got it. Okay, you are you ready? Okay, I am just about ready. 
You gotta prep a little bit mentally? No, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, one minute on clock. All right. Let's go. Okay, this is a noun. It's one word. Okay. She stepped into the street and hailed a bear. My uncle is a bear driver in New York City. Okay, I mean this one, New York City has a lot of them, so it must be taxi. Good job. Yeah. Or it could have been okay. cab. Yeah, it could have been cab. <laughs> Uber? Could have been Uber. Oh no, you don't hail at Uber. <laughs> okay, so this one's a noun, one word. If you're done with your meal, I can bring you the bear. The repair, repair bear was a lot higher than we expected. I was gonna say check, but I think it's bill, right? Yes, yeah. you're correct. Okay, so this one is a phrase with four words. Bear, 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 bear. Art history, Amy is an expert. No one is better than Mark, bear, 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 playing chess. I think, is it when it comes to? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was really I good. I thought I had it when you read the first sentence. So the second one I was listening, I was like, if this is, if this fits, I think yeah. I've got it. So I was like, when it comes to playing chess. That was a really mm. awesome guess. I mean, you figured that out right away. When I was reading it, I was like almost losing <laughs> the meaning of the phrase in my head mm. itself. <laughs> but that was awesome. And I feel like, yeah, you did an awesome job with all of these. They were pretty easy for you though. You're real smart. See you next time!